Coming up this weekend at the Ballroom of the Robertson Museum, Half Light Theatre is pre- presenting Jean-Paul Sartre's play No Exit. Again, that's June 1st and 2nd at 7.30 p.m., June 3rd at 3 p.m., and I'm pleased to welcome uh, Chris Nickerson, and I believe you're in the cast, right? Yes. And yes. Tim Mullen, you're directing, correct? That's correct. Thanks for having us. Um, for people who aren't familiar with the play, uh, well, most people are familiar with the the quote from the play, Hell is Other People. Mm-hmm. Uh, how does that, uh, uh, tell us what that means in the play. Well, uh, the play takes place in a hotel room, and there's this mysterious valet that brings the characters there one at a time until there's three of them in the room. And each of the characters knows that they're in the afterlife and that they haven't been good people. (laughs) So they're expecting uh, the typical uh, fire and brimstone type of picture of hell, waiting for the physical torture to begin. Pardon me. And it doesn't happen, so they're left there <clears throat> to just deal with each other. And those three people eventually realize that they've been specially selected by the bad powers that be to uh, torture the other two. So it's a psychological play of um, it's very cerebral and dark drama, but interesting as hell. <laughs> so, Chris, what did you do? <laughs> well, what I did, I was um, executed as a collaborator. And um, I guess uh, the biggest problem that I have in the play is, is uh, cowardice and people's opinion of me. And so that fear of people knowing and thinking of me as a coward and not as a man is what drives um, a lot of my actions. And it comes out later in the play because uh, the other two characters, one is a female who is basically a, a lesbian. So she's attracted to the other female in the script, and the other female is attracted to me, and I am not attracted as much as she wants me to be to her. So it's constantly the pressure between the three of us, each wanting something that they can't have, that builds and builds during the play. And uh, it's really an excellent script. It's really well written. And why did you pick this particular play? It seemed like the natural follow-up to Barefoot in the Park. <laughs> it's such a good companion piece. No, um, I saw this play in college, so over 20 years ago, and fell in love with it and just always wanted to direct it. Um, and the ballroom at, at Roberson has uh, this cool architectural feature, this little alcove that has a bench in a kind of semicircle. And literally when I saw that, I was like, hey, we could, do, we could use that as an alternate performance space and this is the play that came to mind um so it's a long time goal fulfilled and fit nicely in our season a little bit of balance after doing the lightness of neil simon to go completely the other direction and do uh an existentialist drama (laughs) i don't want people to be spooked by that though because this is very i think uh accessible to people and Yes. Pretty mm-hmm. compelling stuff. Well, um, I, I saw it a long time ago, and I was surprised. You know, I was expecting talk, 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 talk. And it really is a, a very fascinating play. You sort of get drawn in by these these strange and, and, and culpable characters. Why, why does that work? Can you explain that, Tim? Why did I like this play? <laughs> well, it's a lot of, I mean, conflict is the key to good drama. And these characters are just constantly manipulating each other and working on each other's uh, psychologies. It, 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 the conflict is wonderful, but also the play is its very many-layered. So you get hooked in because you're constantly finding out new things about each of the characters as you go along, and it just keeps driving you, and it drives them towards each other and towards the, com- uh, the complex ending. It's so well-written that you get hooked in, and you keep finding out more and more, and it pulls you right in. Who else is in the cast? Uh, Missy Harris, who's also the executive director of our company, of Half Light Theater. And uh, in an interesting bit of casting, her 11-year-old son, Jacob Schwartz, is also in it as our valet, which gives it kind of a nice, uh, you know, the omen or children of the damned kind of feel that this sweet, sweet-faced young kid is uh, their tour guide to hell. And uh, a lovely actress who's uh, done a lot of musical theater in the area and is doing a great job. And uh, her name is Laura Liberti. 
So it's Missy Harris, Laura Liberty, Chris Nickerson, Jacob Schwartz. Okay, I want you. Uh, I want to thank you for coming here once again. The play is No Exit by Jean Paul Sartre. It's June first and second at seven thirty p.m. and June third at three p.m. in the ballroom of the Robertson Museum. That's way up on the the third floor of the Robertson Museum, and that's located at thirty Front Street. If you'd like more information, you the number to call is six zero seven seven. Two seven I seven seven two zero six six zero. I was getting my sevens and twos <laughs> mixed up. And you can also go online to halflighttheater.org. dot org. Is that correct? That's correct. That's and we're correct. also on Facebook. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Bill.